creating Bachacate. New York City is the capital for American comedy. And with competition being so high, Comedy Troupe Room 28 has made it a point to stand out with a combination of live shows and digital sketches. Sketches that just happened to grab the attention of the new Latino comedy website, Mas Mejor. Since the league is now 90% Hispanic, these commentators can connect with players on a personal level. Now Freddy Perez has two strikes on him. Hey, come on, let's get this guy amped. I like him, huh? He's on my fantasy baseball team. Mira, Freddy, dale duro, que te necesito! I think the style of Room 28 is diverse. I think that's what sets us apart, because we're all kind of fans of comedy. A lot of us are comedy nerds, and we grew up watching American comedy, but not watching people like us do that type of comedy. So everyone has really kind of diverse comedy taste. We put that in a blender, mix it up, and at the end of the day, you know, we try a lot of different things out. You know, we just judge it based on what we think is funny as a group. Our style is just all over the place in a good way. Make some noise! The evolution of where that started into where we are now, I mean, when we first started, uh, we started making those videos for our live shows because we didn't want to lose the audience in between sketches and us getting dressed. We decided, like, keep kidding them with content, uh, which would make us a little bit more different than anything you've seen out there. We still use those videos for our show, but now it's made our video presence on the internet uh, much larger. We focus a lot on situational comedy as well, so I think that us being Latinos, that's gonna be there in your face, and we're reflective of that, but we're not really strong on the specific Latino characters. We're just, uh, Latinos are in those situations. You know, write for yourself, because nobody's writing the roles that we're doing on stage for us because we have the power and we have the audience. We can be whatever we want, you know, we can play any characters we want and completely just go off the deep end. Pernil, mangu, those are just some of the classic Dominican dishes you can get at Hector's Bodega. Or you can go to the other grocery store down the block and watch the white man rape our culture like the pilgrims did to the Indians. Your choice, my people, choose wisely. You write what you know. A lot of it can be stuff that we've, we've experienced, like bodegas, then we did Bodega Wars. That's definitely something that's New York based. It definitely plays a part. Lord have mercy, it's Paco. Wanna ride in my mercy a lago? Just kidding, I ain't got no car, no. I take the subway, that's how I roll. I think the market caught up to us. And the reason why I think is that we've been doing comedy for a while. And like I said, we're, we're Latinos with a broad sense of comedy taste. But I think finally now, with all the platforms, we're working with other individuals, doing collaborations, signing contracts for platforms. And we're surprised, but we're like, finally because we're getting those opportunities that definitely is needed for Latino voices. The strengths of all of us combined together allows us to really expand beyond any type of comedy. We're not true. We're not one dimensional, we're Juan dimensional. There we go. <laughs> Why you so orange is that from a tan and booth? I had looking like an old orangutan in a suit. Only way you can make America great again is if you go away, cause I won't vote for you.